Here's how you can set an alert on multiple stocks at the same time. First, in your watch list, you're going to want to highlight the stocks on which you want to alert. To highlight a list of stocks in a row, click on the first stock that you're interested in, hold the shift key down on your keyboard, and go to the last stock that you're interested in. Click, and you can see we've highlighted the entire list. If you want to do that randomly, by the way, just click on the symbol, hold the control key down, and click on the symbols that you're interested in alerting on. Once you have the stock selected, right-click on any of the highlighted fields and choose Set Alert. Notice that it tells you how many symbols you've highlighted, and it gives you the choice to set a conditional alert from your library or with a new condition. To select a condition or condition set you've already created, click Condition from Library. Simply select from the list the condition that you want to use. We'll just use a simple condition of above average price and volume. You click on the condition in the library. In this case, the condition section is populated by two conditions. We're going to give the alert a name. Then you need to choose if you want the alert to restart again after it's triggered. And then you can select when you want that alert to restart. Also choose the duration over which you'll be monitoring that particular alert. Give it a description because this will show up in your notifications. And then you can either use your default notifications or set specific ones for this particular alert. Once you've got the alert set up, click OK. And you can see nine alerts have been created. Now to create alerts based on new conditions or condition sets that are not in your library, highlight the stocks that you're interested in, right click, Set Alert, but this time choose New Condition. You'll be creating these conditions for the alerts on the fly. Click Add Condition. This time we're going to say we want the price to reach a new 22 bar high. This would be the highest point it's been at in 22 days. And then we want to add a second condition, which is the price rate of change percent for those 22 days. So we're going to adjust our indicator to those 22 days greater than 4%. Click OK. Now I've got our two conditions in place. And again, we walk through those same steps. Select whatever time frames you want to use for your restart and your monitoring. Go ahead and give it a description. And then click OK. If some of the stocks already meet your condition, alerts won't be set on them. Here you can see we're going to place six alerts because some of the stocks already meet our conditions. Click Place Six Alerts. And now, to see the alerts that we've placed, click the Alert Menu item and choose the Alert Console. This opens the tracking window that monitors all of your alerts. If you look right at the top, you can see the stocks we're alerting on for new highs and the stocks we're alerting on for the above average price volume moves. These are now going to be monitored for me according to the way I set up my alerts, and I'll receive a notification, a text message, an email, and a pop-up on my TC2000 when the conditions of the alert are met for any of the stocks being monitored. The number of alerts that you can monitor at any given time is based on the service level you have in TC2000. If you're in the gold service, TC2000 will monitor 100 alerts at the same time. If you have the Platinum TC2000 service level, you can monitor up to 1,000 alerts at the same time.